The United Republic of Tanzania has been battling a large-scale cholera outbreak since August 2015. This outbreak has affected over 33,294 people and claimed more than 538 lives. Limited access to safe drinking water, inadequate sanitation facilities and inappropriate waste management practices are some of the main factors triggering the spread of the disease. Uh, cholera being uh, a disease looking like a simple one, but a very complex attitude and threat because of lack of sanitation and lack of potable water. Typically, at-risk areas are peri-urban slums with precarious basic infrastructures and rural areas, particularly those along rivers and lake shores. Tanzania, like many other developing countries, faces a number of challenges around water supply and sanitation and hygiene. If in any community people don't have access to potable water, people don't have access or reliable access to sanitation, uh, the vicious cycle will remain. Cholera is a preventable disease, provided that safe water and proper sanitation are made available. Hence, every death from cholera is preventable. The multi-sector approach to cholera control can prevent cholera outbreaks before they happen by targeting highly at the endemic areas, hotspots, that experience cholera time and time again will not only reduce the burden of cholera but also effectively prioritise the delivery of wash solutions to those most in need, achieving maximum impact. Baada ya kwenda hospitali, kwenda kulazwa, tulielezwa tatizo lile kwamba ilikuwa ni kutokuwa na vyo. Ensuring access to clean and safe water to affected communities with limited access to safe drinking water is one of the World Health Organization's priorities. To help support the government's ongoing initiatives, WHO contracted the Drilling and Dam Construction Agency, the DDCA, to drill a total of 20 hand pump boreholes in the regions of Mara and Mwanza, which are among the highly affected regions of the cholera outbreaks. Another initiative introduced by WHO and with the support of the National Institute of Medical Research has been the construction of 200 demonstration ventilated improved pit latrines by the communities themselves in the region of Mara, Mwanza, Morogoro and Dodoma. Investing in the prevention of cholera is not only affordable but ultimately allows significant cost savings compared with the average yearly cost of continuously responding to cholera outbreaks. Now is the time to accelerate action against cholera at country and global levels. All stakeholders need to synchronize efforts and investments towards a coordinated multi-sexual approach to cholera control at country level. The, the end of the response to any cholera outbreak is the beginning of uh, you know, a, even a more difficult piece of work. To come together with other development partners and work on well-articulated plan to improve water and sanitation. Controlling cholera is a moral obligation as well as a critical step to achieving sustainable development goals, which call for the reduction of inequality and good health and well-being for all.